Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? Some people don't get that and I'm, I'm not saying it's you, I'm just, I don't know where this is coming from. Not every reading is for you, okay? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the week of the 15th through the 21st. We're going to do the Celtic Cross for this segment, and then I'm going to go back to my regular spread. We have the Six of Swords reversed. You guys may be reluctant to move on from a situation. I mean, that's what the card means, Six of Swords reversed. It's like reluctant to take a new approach, not taking the approach that you need to take. You may be stuck. You know, you need to do something differently, and you may be resisting that, okay? Definitely a power struggle going on here, going back and forth. You know, there's something that you need to let go of that you're still hanging on to, and that is no joke. You don't need to play this game anymore. This is tug of war. you got to let go, okay? There's no need. It's, just, it's hurting you. How much longer are you going to hurt yourself by holding on? Seriously. We're going to go back around in a minute. We're going to go around again. First, I'm going to lay out the initial. Yeah, you see, you're stuck. Come on now. You're stuck. That's what this is. You're stuck. You're in limbo, sacrificing yourself needlessly for, well, I don't even know what reason. You're limiting yourself. And this is resisting change. And this is resisting change. You guys are resisting some sort of change. Now this is the serious power struggle right here. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and you know, this is dealing with conflict. You may, you may be dealing with a person that is bringing conflict into your life. And you got to cut them out. You need to set some boundaries and stick to them. You need to protect yourself from uh, people that don't serve you. You may be, you may be, uh, don't, I mean, you need to be careful, be careful. I'm gonna get some more. I have to get another card to go with that. Let me finish reading. This is this is something's up. Okay, that's in the past though. You know, you may be dealing with a person. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's not being completely truthful with you. This is thinking about walking away, not completely walking away, but thinking about it. Five of Cups, grieving, sadness, crying over a loss. Now, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Not, you know, there's a better opportunity waiting for you, but if you keep focusing on the loss in any way, shape, or form, you know, that's an issue. You could be dealing with a a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer that doesn't have good intentions and maybe they're moping over you or whatever and they're causing, you know, whatever, I don't know. Or you're moping over them. Then whatever we got going over here, going on here, somebody's not mastering their emotions. Somebody needs to take action and they're not. With the Knight of Wands reversed up there in the outcome, not taking any action, you know, letting yourself be taken advantage of. Now we got somebody here that is resisting change in a huge, huge, huge way. And I can't pretend and I can't make that shit up. Resisting change, resisting change, resisting change, resisting change. Come on now.
It's a constant struggle, isn't it? But you're playing. You're playing the game. You choose it. You're choosing it. You're choosing this struggle. You're choosing the conflict. You're choosing the pettiness that you bring into your life by playing the game. And you know what the game is. You're thinking about walking away. There's probably some guilt. You know, there's probably some guilt. There may be some regrets. I think that you may be staying in a, some of you are staying in a situation because it's stable. You know, it's secure. Right? It's financially stable. It's, it's, there's, it's something to have, right? But I feel as though you're thinking about leaving it, but you're not taking any action because there's lack of courage. There's lack of faith. Afraid to take a risk. That's the truth here. We got somebody here that is really resisting their own truth. We're going to go back around. I mean, and therefore, because you're resisting, because you're playing a game, there's lack of harmony. There's lack of peace in your life. Because you're you're sacrificing yourself for a situation that there's no love, okay? No love in this situation. There ain't. Could have to do with your ex. Could have to do with the person you're with right now and you're just not happy with them. Oh, God. I can't make it up. You know that I can't. Somebody is in a false contract. Where they're incompatible with this other person. They are incompatible and they're reluctant to move on. Lack of balance. Lack of harmony with these sixes. You need to reevaluate your life and who you are. You need to reevaluate your integrity. Sometimes you've got to do things that are best for you. Somebody's holding on to a false contract that is there's no compatibility. It's not meant to be. <laughs> There's a third party situation here. Somebody's dealing with two people instead of one. There's no wish fulfillment where they're at. There's a lack of abundance and abundance is starting to slip away because somebody needs to act with integrity. They need to do the right thing. You know, we have somebody here that's really not in a happy situation at all. But they're afraid to take a risk. You need to make a decision. You need to make a firm, solid decision. You need to stick with it. You need to be logical. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio here. We also have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I feel as though you guys need to, you need to make a decision and stick to it. You're going back and forth with your decisions. What is up with that? It's about discipline. Find that discipline to own your power, to, to, you know, stick to it. Stick to it. Stop going back. You guys probably... Um, Maybe you've met somebody else. Maybe you met somebody at work. Maybe there's a new opportunity for love here. If you haven't met somebody, you might meet somebody at work. There's an opportunity for love. There's probably, you know, a new relationship brewing. And you need to make a decision to move forward in faith and stop going playing games with the false contract. This is a game with the false contract. Unhappiness. Some of you are um, in a very unhappy commitment and you're thinking about walking away. I mean, I can't make that up. That's, uh, this is an unhappy, un, upright, this is a happy commitment. Happy engagement, happiness, you know. Unhappy commitment. Thinking about walking away. You guys are thinking about walking away from something that is making you unhappy that you don't want to be committed to. And you're really, really worried, though. There's worry, there's fear, there's anxiety. But I feel like there's another opportunity for love here. I do. I do. I think that you have an opportunity for love. 
that does not involve this false contract that you are still dealing with. I think that you're still holding on. You are with the sixes reverse. It's like you've got to take this leap of faith. You've got to take this journey. You've got to stop playing the game with the wrong ones because you have an opportunity for new love with somebody else. But I think that you're really worried about walking away from this marriage or commitment or contract or whatever it is. And you're probably worried because of money. Or the house or the home or something like that. Um, it's time to take back control of your life. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, or an Aries. Uh, you guys need to step over that finish line and complete a cycle, but you're not. You're not. There's unfinished business and you're not allowing it. You have the you have the power. You can choose. You can you can choose to end it whenever you're ready. Endings bring new beginnings. I think you have a new opportunity for love here, but right now you're holding on to a toxic situation with somebody. <laughs> you are. You know, you could have a choice between a water sign and a Capricorn. I don't know. But you're holding on to something that is unhealthy for you. It's hindering you. And you have an opportunity to take back control of your life at this time. To restore control. To take back control. To break free from an unhealthy situation. But you've got to break it. you got to like break free. It's in your hands. The power is in your hands. You have to decide to do so. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's time for you to release. It's time for you to begin again. It's time for you to, you know, go after the stability and the security and the happiness that you seek, that you desire. I feel as though this week there may be some grieving. We have this, this emperor reversed. This is sadness. Um, this is crying. Um, I'm not sure who this is, but this is Aries. Um, but it could be anybody else. This is things being out of control. Um, you may be clinging to control. You may be hanging on because of what... Everybody else has to say, you know, because the emperor uh, is very society driven. Okay. Um, there's anger. There is anger here. There's sadness. You could be dealing with somebody that is, I don't know if they're letting go. You may, you, you know, you could be, there could be a death of something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this is coming from, but, um, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. This is the end. This is the end of trying to control things. That's what it is. Let go of control, surrender, let go and let God, let go and let God. Let go of the people in the situations that are hurting you. You have an opportunity for a new life, a new beginning. But you got to take action and really stand with your decision. Like, like stick to it. There's, there's no success holding on to whatever it is that you're holding on to. You have not let go of something and it's hurting you. And that is the damn truth. It's a false contract. Trying to control it. Trying to, you know, thinking, you know, I don't know why you're trying to control the situation. You've lost your focus. You've lost your concentration. Things that I think think that things are a mess because you know when you deal with energy of people that use emotional blackmail as a tactic, it brings your vibration down. You're dealing with somebody that does use emotional blackmail as a tactic. And I feel like it's time for you to release. It's time for you to transition out of this phase and start your new life, which is waiting for you. You have a new opportunity for love here, Leo. But you have to take action. You have to follow your heart. Don't worry about your bank account. 
unless your ego is too big, of course. I mean, if your ego is huge, then, you know, your bank account will certainly matter. Love is what matters. And when you follow your heart, your abundance will come pouring in. And that is the truth. But then again, this person is really worried about what everybody else has to think. What the family thinks, you know, what society thinks, you know. So ego is huge here. No doubt. So we got somebody in this reading whose ego is so big that they can't follow their heart. And that's sad. We have another person here who is has to make a choice between two people. This is the universe. It's reversed. They're not making the right decision. They're not completing a cycle that needs to complete, you know. Well, they could be, you know, hindering their love connection because of it. Because, you, you know, the universe sees all. So, um... There's an opportunity to com definitely complete a cycle in your life and bring more abundance in. It's time. It's time for your transition. It's time for your release. It's time for you to begin again. You have a new opportunity for love here. Let go of the player that you're holding on to, please. That's my advice. I think that this is a time of, you know, sadness. I think there's, this is sadness, it's grieving, it's, it's crying, it's painful, you know, to let go of control. It's not easy. It's not easy to surrender. You're probably dealing with a master manipulator. You are probably dealing with a master manipulator here. Master. And I understand that, you know... You probably don't want to let it go. Maybe you've done everything you can. There's probably a third party situation here. You may be talking with two people. There's an opportunity for love. But you got to let go of the false contract. You got to take that journey and you're not taking it. You're not taking action. Not true action. You have to make the cut. You have to you have to make that decision and you have to stick to it. And you we got people here that aren't sticking to it. They aren't. And it's because of codependency reasons. I gotta have some attention. So it's time to take back control. It's time to break free. And I feel like you're you're thinking about it. You're thinking about walking away and following your heart. Society's uh, you know, rules are hindering you. Um, not only that, um, I feel like the need to have constant attention or attention quite a bit is an issue here, you know, and you got to love yourself enough to, to set up barriers, to set up boundaries, you know. So I feel like there is uh, some sort of chapter in your life, a significant chapter that maybe even a marriage. I mean, this is a marriage. A false contract that needs to complete and you need to, you're probably thinking about walking away and for good and not looking back. But you have to literally, you know, step over that finish line and really take action. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. And when you do step over that finish line, you don't look back. I think you have a new opportunity for love here. And I think that you're struggling with accepting it because probably be, maybe because of your parents, maybe because of your friends, maybe because of both. I don't know what. Maybe because of codependency. Maybe you can't let go of the ex. I don't know what it is. You can't, let, maybe, I don't know why. But there's something that needs to be let go of and you, you know, you need to find the strength to do it. It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time for your ultimate abundance. You may be fearful that if you, you know, if you start over that you're not going to be abundant. No, you will be. But not where you're at right now. This is a fault. This is, this is not okay. This is not, this is right here in the, right now. This is your situation right now. Somebody is holding on to a false contract where there's no peace. There's no harmony. <laughs> And that is no joke. Two sixes reversed and it's the lovers and the six of swords. It's too troublesome. There's a trouble. Some kind of trouble 
You could watch. I'm going to put that song. There's some kind of trouble. It's by Tanya Tucker. That's what we got going on here. There is some kind of trouble. There's a new opportunity for love here. And I think that you're wasting your time on a false contract. The universe sees that too. You have to have, you know, you got to do the right thing. You can't have talked to two people. And a lot of people think you can. Well, no, you can't. That doesn't, that's lack of integrity. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they are. You know exactly what I'm talking about, too. Deception. Oh, wow. And I don't want you to be pointing the finger at anybody else, Leo. Because this involves more than one person. And you're one of them. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It looks like it's three people to me. There's a third party situation here. There's lies and there's deception. And you have feelings for somebody else. One of person has to be cut out for good. No coddling at Soul Source Tarot. Good luck. 